For many, many years, I've wanted to do something for the outside of the school to jazz it up, make the red brick a little less red brick. And uh, so I decided last year that I'd like to have an artist come from the Ontario Arts Council. And I wasn't sure what we would do when I saw that we had a glass artist available. That's when I decided I would make contact with Bonnie. She's from Port Perry. And uh, so once she got here, then we started talking about what it is we could make for the outside of the school. And then we got the idea that we should use metal. And then we introduced Hillary into the project as well. The students here, um jumped straight in and, and were really enthusiastic about the whole project, so it was, it was good. I work with the Ontario Arts Council. They um, provide the funding for me to come up to the schools um, all over Ontario, and um, so I was um, instructing them on how to work with glass. So as a new medium for them, no one had, had worked in glass before, So, and this is kiln form glass, so it's glass that um, is manipulated and then put into the kiln and then fired, so it's, it's um, it's kind of like Christmas when you open up the kiln and you see what, what they've done. I did the welded steel tree that we've attached to the wall, which I built on the floor of my studio. I'm a professional sculptor. I've known Sue Buckingham for many years, really since she came to the school. And I've always been so impressed with her courage and vision because she just gets an idea and then carries it through. And no one says no to Miss Buckingham. <laughs> Um, to me, it means the uh, the uh, tree of life. Uh, what happened when uh, Sky Woman when she fell from the upper world of of the Sky World, which we call in the language uh, Garunyagi, and uh, the land of the Creator. So there was a tree like that in the story. It's got all kinds of bark on it from different trees, all kinds of roots, and all kinds of fruit on the tree. That's why it's called the tree of life, and that's what it represents to me. I mean, I think it means pretty good because uh, they get to learn, and uh, it also helps with me learning too. And it's, it's nice to see that the children are interested in the culture and the stories of the Iroquois people.